Hi, right, in this short video I would like to just step through how um, large language models can be tested for vulnerabil vulnerabilities in prompt injection. So obviously we would like the large language model to be able to distinguish between a legitimate prompt and a malicious, nefarious, ill-intended um, prompt injection. I also did a Medium post on the subject, so I'll link um, in the comments to this article. But basically, I've got a few links here on what prompt injection is. Um, you know, when it was discovered, some interesting reading. Then I step into how Chainforge can be used for prompt injection detection exp uh, as a, an experiment. So on the left here, we have um, five legitimate real prompts. And on the right, we've got the nefarious, negative, malicious prompts. And to see to which degree the large language model can detect these negative ones. Um, I've got some screenshots showing also the graphic nature to which the results can be viewed. And in conclusion, I just alluded to the fact that there are really two dangers to uh, negative or nefarious prompt injection. The one is um, where the model's training relies on user input. So we've saw that with uh, Meta's Blender bot and the model is negatively skewed based on, on bad user input. And secondly, uh, I link to an example where a large language model gave away company information, training information, which is also not a, a um, desired state. So back to Chainforge. Um, on, the, on the left here, you will see we've got our five commands or uh, engineered prompts. Um, and then also we've got our prompts we would like to inject uh, for each of these. And then you'll see in our prompt node, basically we only list two models here from OpenAI, but you can add more models in terms of um, Claude, Palm, um, and, and a few others. So I've only got GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. Um, you can also send, set, set your number of responses um, I will only have you know two responses just for for cost sake and and and, and speed. So if we click here, it, it executes the the request to the large language model. Um, you'll see here that this is basically our template. So we've got a command and an input, um, and hopefully the large language model will be able to distinguish between uh, the fact distinguish that the fact that the input does not really match match the command. What I find interesting about um, Chainforge is if I add another variable or a placeholder to this temple, it shows up here as a node if you want to add more, more input uh, to this prompt node. And then on the, towards the left here, you will see this uh, inspect node. So with the inspect node, we get the input, the, sorry, the output from the large language models. Um, if you want that verbatim. And then we've got a very simple um, Python script here that detects if the letters LOL -O -L, um, is or are in the response or if the response is less than, than five. And you can see from here that um, GPT-4 did quite well um, compared to um, GPT 3.5 Turbo. So um, full marks for GPT 4, um, and you could say 80% result, um, positive result for GPT 3.5 Turbo. So this is a good way to just test prompts um, and, and see how, how those prompts behave. You can also have, a, so we've got two outputs to this Python section. We've got our um, um, graphic node and then we also we've got this inspect node where we have the same information but it's just uh, condensed and in text and, and obviously not graphic and then lastly in closing I'll, I'll add a link in the comments to this article but uh, I cannot stress enough the importance of chat ML or chat markup language and the attempts of chat markup language to negate um, prompt injection um, and it does this by separating the different elements of the conversation. So especially in, in the case of 
a GPT 3.5 turbo um, that's used for more conversational interfaces and the whole idea of segmenting the input between system, user and assistant. Um, so quite a bit of responsibility lies on the user side to, to manage and negate um, prompt injection.